Hello guys, welcome to another exciting episode in our Corridor Design Effects series. In this video, I'll be showing you how I created this glass morphism effect using Coral Draw software. Right? So, um, if you don't mind, please kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on post notification so you don't miss any videos I'll be dropping anytime from now. Without having to waste much time, let's get started. So, the first thing, click on File, click on New. So I'm just going to give you the name here, which is Morphism Effects and um, this time I'm using RGB Pixel 1920 by 1080 pixels. That's what I'm using, 1920 by 1080. So like usual, double click on this, remove the outline, I'm going to give it a white color, but well, it's not going to stay in white, so I'm just going to leave it like that. So what you want to do is I'm going to use this from the resource file so you can use all of this as practice files. Um, the link is in the description of this video like always. So I click on this and click on power clip inside and select this to place it inside just like this. To edit it further, I click on edit and hold down shift while you increase from the edge, right? So the goal of this is to make sure that you don't have much of this outside just a little like this it's fine so when you're done with everything click on finish and you're good to go so the next thing you want to do is go over to your rectangle this is your rectangle and draw a rectangle like this right so this is fine this is okay and go to your shape tool this is your shape tool here and bring this in like this not too much make sure you're not doing too much like this I might want to extend this a little bit I'm going to give it a white while I remove the outline move the outline make sure you always remove your outlines from shapes right you can see I've gotten rid of the outline so I want to extend this at the bottom here. Sorry, Ctrl Z. Extend like this. Good. Just this is what I want. Move it upwards slightly. Okay. Now this is like the first step. The next one is to make duplicates of this same shapes. So I'm going to make several duplicates. Make sure you follow my exact process, right? It's very very important because if you miss this, you miss the whole process. So I'm going to make a last one, sorry, um, put this one back here, make the last one, Ctrl C, Ctrl V to make copies, alright, Ctrl C and Ctrl V to make copies and with that done, I'm just going to remove the outline oh, I'm not removing the outline I'm going to remove the color and leave the outline but for this one I'm going to make a duplicate copy of this Ctrl C Ctrl V copy and paste I'm going to put this here and I'm just going to give this this color right great so let's come back to this guy here Ctrl C Ctrl V to make a duplicate copy of the background Go over to bitmap, convert to bitmap, and press. Make sure all these are check marked and press OK like this. So the next thing you want to do to is go over to blur and um, select Gaussian blur. Right. So increase the value here. I'm just going to use 12 and put this back inside. So I want to put this inside the rectangle. So right click and click on power clip inside and select the rectangle like this but of course this is looking awkward because it's not sitting well click on edit click on this and press p on your keyboard p letter p on your keyboard right when you do that and you click out this is what you have you can see how nice looking this is but then i noticed that my blow value is too much so i'll click on edit click on this go to properties or you can go to bitmap no sorry effects and uh, click on blow Gaussian blow to adjust the blow values like this just the way I'm doing so when you finish that 
click out and um, yes we're good to go so with this one selected what i want to do with it is actually um, What I want to do with this one is actually to create a drop shadow, like a shadow, right? So how do I do this? Very, very simple. Instead of using the normal conventional way of doing that, I'm just going to change this one color to black here, right? First thing, go to effect. Um, before I do that, select this to C and E on your keyboard, brings it to the middle like this, letter C and letter E. So select that and go over to blow and click on Gaussian blow. When you do this, reduce the value like this. And um, what you want to do is control page down. It takes it to the back of that image itself. So you can now increase the blow value like this. You can also change the color of the shadow here use any one you want to use but i'm just going to stick with this and this is what i have i'm gonna close this up like this yes this is what i have okay so um you can go ahead later to make changes to the shadow in case you want to blow it more i'll just select like this and i'm um, just going to go over to changing the color i'm going to use this color like this right so now that that's out of the way we've dealt with the shadow now we want to use the outline select this to c and e to put it in the middle i'm going to change the outline to like three and um, then of course what i want to do here is go to transparency and i'm just going to fade this down like this Okay, move it upward a bit, just like this, nicely done. So yes, the last one we're going to be putting in is this one, but I'm going to add um, a couple of things to this. The first thing I want to do is select it, the shape itself, go over to, let's see, let's see, effects and um, scroll down texture under texture select stone right so this is what you have under stone so what you want to do is use my settings roughness and detail 100 so c and e just like you've done with the previous rectangle click on transparency and change it to screen click on this first one you can see how nice looking this glass effect is currently right i think i'll leave it like this i will not make any changes to it again next thing i want to do is i'm going to go over to my source file bring in my text that i typed previously to save us the time and everything and um, ungroup it slight adjustments to it still too big reduce the size yes I'm going to put this here select this select the color here and impute this here just like this Can see how nice looking this effect is so um you can as well stop here and um, you have your nice looking morphism effect but of course like you know i would like to go the extra mile to make sure i put a little spice of um perfect touch to every of the designs or every effect i create so go over to the ellipse tool like this draw an ellipse give it the color and um remove the outline by right clicking there i'm gonna bring it here like this hold down shift while you drag like this from that part to this part here 
zoom close while you're seeing things well make sure you always zoom close to see things well right so um, with this done what you want to do is go over to transparency click on fountain and click on elliptical fountain right so when you do this this is what you get so there change the blend mode to hard lights like this so what you want to do is make several copies of these lights ctrl c ctrl v bring it downwards but this one is going to be a little bit smaller and um, thinner like this um, okay uh, hold i'm holding down shift that's why i'm resizing on all sides so always remember to hold down shift when you want to resize from all sides Okay, this is nice. Ctrl C, Ctrl V, make a duplicate copy of this, and um, come over here. Put it, set it to ninety, so you can have um, it this way. Hold down Shift. Before you do that, hold down Shift here. No, make it smaller. And um, also create this one here like this. Control C, Control V, Control Copy and Paste, and um, have that same light -like effect. You can see how nice looking this morphism effect has turned out to be, especially this one you can change the color make it lighter make it darker the choice is yours so most times i like leaving mine like this as you can see guys this is how you can create glass uh, morphism effect in corel draw right so give it a try by yourself if you don't understand make sure you pause and you play and um, you go back and you come back again to do the same thing repeat it if you don't understand all right guys click the subscribe button if you like this video and um, of course don't forget to share to your friends and loved ones i'll see you in the next video